We just got in our car as fast as possible. Shots fired at Gulf Coast Town Center in South Lee County, and now deputies are trying to find out who pulled the trigger at the shopping center. Thankfully, no one was hurt. Deputies tell us the shooting happened this morning between two drivers in their cars. Workers scrambled to lock the doors of their shops and restaurants. NBC2's Gage Golding is live at the town center walking you through what we know. Yeah, like you said, Peter, the shooting was between two different vehicles and deputies swarmed the back part of this parking lot. It's situated between the target off to my right and a construction site off to my left. And this is where they focused their investigation. Take a look at some of this video that we shot earlier this afternoon. You can see deputies had a large part of this area cornered off with that crime scene tape. Investigators were out speaking with construction workers next door. They're trying to piece together whatever happened out here. Meanwhile, this whole shopping plaza, many of the stores here went into a lockdown, not knowing that the very threat actually drove away. Then they let us know that there was an active shooter, um, so they were locking the store down. I think getting people know that there's something going on just lets you be safe at that point anyway. Yeah, Florida Gulf Coast University also took proactive measures. As you know, they're very close to here. They sent out an alert. You're looking at it here, telling students and staff about the shooting. Now, the school initially did say that the shooting happened on campus. However, they quickly sent out another alert saying it was here within the Gulf Coast Town Center property. Now, deputies, they're out there. They're still looking for these two different vehicles, the people within these vehicles tonight. We asked, hey, do you have any suspects in mind? Right now, they're still working on that. Good news is, though, nobody was hurt. I'm reporting live and local in Estero, Gage Golding, NBC2.